Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. It's time for a little whip and waffle and I'm going to do my first section or first couple of sections on this painting Flying Feathers from Prism Diamond Painting. I've just kitted it up. It's going to be the one I do a few whip and waffles on until I get around to kitting up um, my next 30 by 40 or I'm hoping to bring my heaven and earth design painting and do that on next Sunday's whip and waffle is my plan so far we'll see how much of that I get done in the next week and yeah, so uh, let's start. We've got C to start off with. So I'm looking at the bottom corner and that is 762. We are dealing with a bit of static with these diamonds, but I'm hoping that the ones that actually want to come out of the tub are the non-static ones. And there's quite a lot of lighter colours in this painting. So I thought I'd bring out my grey zesty tray because they show up quite nicely. I'm still using my limited edition pen for a couple of reasons. One, I think it's really, really funky, is one reason. Um, I really like the pen. The second reason is it was handy. It was handy to grab hold of um, because it was still here. All my trays are now currently on the shelf in my craft room because I used to keep them all in my little diamond painting cart that sort of held all my goodies. Um, but Luna likes to have a little jump up and a little mess and I wouldn't want her getting hold of any of the stoppers in my trays or managing to pull any of those out or even just chewing on any of my trays would not be a good idea. Uh, so the one I'm currently using goes inside, it gets put like inside a little pot in my tray. So she can't reach that. But she could reach all my spare ones because they were all held on the bottom. So I've moved them into my craft room. So I have grabbed my grey zesty for this one. So let's zoom you guys in because I've just realised I am... Um, going at this and you can't even see. Okay, let's move, scoot it over. I'm working in the bottom left-hand corner and I'm gonna go by whatever the first symbol is. Now, I do have some tips and tricks videos on working with squares, which you can find if you go to my website, which is down there. Click on videos and you will be able to find it in um, tips and tricks. There is some tips and tricks for working with squares and helping your set or helping to get straight edges when you first start a square section. You can use gift cards and things like that. And also there's a couple of tips and tricks on the ways I like to work with squares when they have nice big blocks of colour to help them nestle in right. But there's actually less C's than I thought there was. I may have missed some because I am working on quite a big section. But that's all I can see for now. So if I'm missing any, I'll deal with that later. But it means I have poured more diamonds in my tray than I need. So what I do is I tap a load down to the bottom so I tap quite a few down until my little well is full, straighten up my tray, take out my stopper and then knock them through and I just tap the end of my tray. If I find that they're not going into the pot nicely, sometimes I will put my stopper back in so that I can hit the tray a little bit harder. Um, without them shooting where they're not supposed to go. So the next one is 3072. Might have a few more of these. So I've tipped out more. Watch me not need anywhere near this many. 
but it's been a little while since I've worked on a big square painting. The last squares that I've worked on have been my little paint gem paintings, which are minis. So I'm probably tipping out far more than I actually need. But the first thing I'm going to do is go rather slowly and carefully on my edges that are the edge of the painting. I take a little bit more care when it comes to those because I can't then use the diamond next to it to nudge it into the right place because there's no diamond the other side. So I like to do my little edges and then I can be a little bit quicker when it comes to filling in the gaps. And I'm actually going to do it all the way up, I think. Looks like my glue dots decided to become rather sticky. But yeah, I hope you're all having a great week. It's still Easter weekend as I'm filming this. But it won't be by the time you get to see this. But I hope you all enjoyed your long weekend if you got one. And if not, I hope you had at least a nice weekend. We at least had a few days of nice weather, which makes a very nice change. Because we've had a couple of, I wouldn't say raining all the time, but it's definitely been raining each day, just different times each day. Or at least that's what I've experienced in the last few weeks. Okay, comments. That is the reason, or part of the reason for this many whip and chats, is the amount of comments and stuff that I still need to go through. So, Emily, she says, speaking from experience, so a lot of these comments at the moment, by the way, are on the video where I announced that we had a new puppy called Luna. Um, three, three of the kids and hubby went to look at one on Mother's Day, on Mother's Day in the UK, which is in March. Um, they went to have a look at a puppy and ended up coming home with a puppy. So we have a little puppy called Luna, who has her moments, but in general is being really good. If you hear the odd shout, she is on a bit of what we call loony luna time at the moment. And while she's got loads better, she does still every now and then get, test those boundaries, should we say, to check whether she is allowed to do something she shouldn't or whether she's still not allowed. Um, so yeah, Emily says, speaking from experience, they got a German Shepherd puppy just before Christmas. She said, at roughly the same age as yours, though theirs is now six and a half months. Um, her name is Holly. And she said she would often go mad and bite things, people at around 6ish p.m. Loony time. Uh, she said, what we found works was being stern and not giving in for things such as furniture and wall corners, using a spray that made it taste awful, and that got her to stop eating them. Hope this helps. Um, we did get a, a spray for the furniture um, in the hope that that would deter her from eating them. Um, when we put the spray on, she decided that she wanted to lick any of the spray that landed on the floor near the furniture. So we're not sure how well that's going to go, but she is, she's definitely getting better at not doing it. Though how much that is the spray and how much that is us telling her no is a little bit undecided because she might be one of the only pups that actually likes the taste of said spray. Uh, we have found that sort of puppy timeout, should we say, works for her. So we do have a pen 
it's it's basically yeah just five sides of metal gates a bit like stair gates um, so she does have a pen in case you know I need to make sure that she's safe and in one place when I've got her on my own um, when working for example she she will often have a bit of time in her pen she's happy going in and out of her pen as well we often put her toys in there for her to go and get and when she has a puzzle her puzzles um, which she likes to scrounge for a bit of kibble that tends to be um, in her pen so that the pen is a nice place as well but we do put her in what we call puppy timeout. so if she is doing a lot of biting of the furniture biting of people and she doesn't stop when told um, then she does go into the pen and she goes in there so that she can calm down and what she tends to do is often she will jump about for a little bit or she'll be really giddy and she'll play with whatever toys are in there and, and bite them and throw them about a bit and then once she's calmed down quite often she will sit down because she knows that she has to sit down before she's let out so once she sits down she's then allowed out um, and she tends to behave then once she comes out of the pen so we have found that puppy time out works quite well with Luna which is you know it is what it is they're puppies aren't they so but yeah we jury still out on the puppy spray because we think our puppy likes it maybe we'll have to see if there is a different option um, Darcy she says we're starting our fire season early she said um, they didn't get the snow pack and enough rain this winter so it will be a scary summer so everything is too dry by the sounds of it means people just have to take that extra care I suppose and hopefully it won't lead to anything that you don't want it to lead to um, because fires are not good okay so I'm just tipping some of my diamonds back here and back again and I tend to have a little well of them here I did do a tip and trick on this but I tend to have a little well and once that has all been used then I turn the tray round because the least time I can have between diamond and hitting the canvas the better it is one of the little things that can speed up rather than getting a diamond from all the way over here far end of the tray and then maybe putting it all the way up the top you, you're spending more time so I like to move my tray about my canvas and you will find me move it so that I can get a little bit closer and therefore place the diamond you know you're talking milliseconds but they add up and they can definitely make the process quicker I off, I'm forever moving my tray about I do use my sticky mat sometimes to put the tray on while I'm diamond painting but that's normally if I've had quite a big session of diamond painting and frankly my hands getting tired otherwise I like to move the tray about with me so that I can get my diamonds to the canvas as quick as possible um, Shelley she says can I ask um, where you show your discount codes for companies that you work closely with so I think it was actually reading your comment Shelley slash something that I wanted to do anyway but I think it was reading your comment on email that pushed me to get on it and get it done but we have now created a discount and codes discount and links I think it's called what's it called links and codes page on the website so a bit like there's a video section there's also a links and code section and that will give you um, links to some of the websites that I work quite closely with 
or where I do quite a few whip and chats with some of their paintings, things like that. So I don't have a discount code for Diamond Art Club, for example. Um, they do offer some sometimes, though it tends to be through their own marketing channels rather than through somebody else. Uh, but I do, I have recently done quite a few whip and chat videos where I've been doing a Diamond Art Club painting. So I've just finished Mother Earth. The painting before that was actually Minions, which was also Diamond Art Club. So I've very recently been doing quite a few whip and chats with Diamond Art Club painting. So I have linked the likes of their website. Um, I've also got websites linked that I do have discount codes for. So if there is a discount code, it will be detailed under the picture for the website. And if you click on the link on the picture, it will take you to the website. So if you are going to use any of my discount codes and or want to purchase something um, following one of my videos, I do appreciate if you do use that page because some of them are affiliate links which does mean I get a little bit of pennies, um, but it doesn't cost you any more. In fact, in some instances, you get a discount if I've got a code as well. So you can both save and help support this channel um, and my website and the business and everything else by using the link as well. So it's like a bonus for both of us, which is always good because it's not costing you money to do it. So what harm is it to use to use my links? Um, but yeah, I have now created a page. So there's a page there for you. Shelley, go at it. Um, Carol, she says she still uses wax in her pen for now. Um, you do what works for you, Carol. I didn't jump on the glue dots um, as quick as many others did. It took me quite a while. Wax was working for me. I had zero problem with using the wax. Uh, it had a lot of comments, a lot of mentions. I think it was my June, June waffle last year where it was definitely discussed quite a bit. Or was it the December advent? I cannot remember now. It was one of them. It was either the June Waffle or the December Advent that it was discussed quite a bit um, in the comments and the chat and stuff like that. So I decided to give it a go. And I think it's awesome. I absolutely love the fact that I don't have to change them as much. But I do completely get why you've not yet changed um, from wax because it worked for me. I didn't necessarily feel like the wax was frustrating me and therefore I needed to find an alternative. Um, I don't know whether it's the climate that I'm in that made wax not as bad, but it, it definitely didn't give me a boatload of trouble. Um, so it wasn't something that I was desperately seeking for an alternative for. Um, but yeah, even glue dots aren't for everybody. They can take a little bit more work when you first put them in to get them to that sweet spot. Um, for me, that work that I have to put in, i.e. dabbing it on my clothes a few more times, is worth it for the fact that I'm not constantly filling it up. Um, but for other people, they actually don't don't mind that little break while you fill up your wax. So why change what works for you? And every person's different and what every person likes is different. And sometimes it's just not worth testing and trying something new. It's not worth that messing about quite often. Um, 20101946 iffy. Uh, she said, I've had dogs all my life. 
she said, and she has bred um, Cavalier King Charles Spaniels at one time. Pups can be very hard work, she says, especially when they become teenagers and test the boundary. Uh, when do they become teenagers? I have read that, that they can test the boundaries when they become teenagers. I kind of don't know if I want to know when that's going to be. <laughs> but um, she'll definitely get to that point at some point because, you know, she's only going to get older and she's not going to get younger. Uh, she says the more that you put into training them, you will reap the reward, she says, when they become adults. She hopes the children are doing their fair share of puppy work and it doesn't end up being left to you, she says, as it does happen in some families. Most of all, enjoy her while she's a pup, uh, she says, because they soon grow up. Yeah, the kids are doing great at doing their bit. So I've not had to do any vet appointments. So the eldest has mainly done the vet appointments. Um, the walks are being pretty much spread out. Again, not necessarily something I need to do. I have her a lot of the time when everybody is at work and when I'm at work. So they tend to do a lot of the other stuff. Our youngest, when I say our youngest, she's 18. Um, our youngest gave her her bath the other day. So it is definitely something that everybody is taking part in at the moment. So that's good. And we're all trying to make sure that it's different people that feed her and stuff as well. Because she definitely responds to commands a lot better when there is a bowl of food involved in fact that's where we're sort of instilling the the sit stay and leave um sort of rules as has been instilled in relation to her food so that she also follows them when it's not about food and we're just building them up bit by bit so we're currently working on her being rewarded by not jumping up when somebody comes to the stair gate to be let into the conservatory and by waiting until she sits down before she gets greeted to stop her jumping up. So yeah, slowly but surely we're working on what's the next thing that we need to, you know, instill in her. But considering she is, what, well, she's now 11 weeks, she's doing really, really well um, with a lot, of, a lot of the commands. And things will get easier the more that we do, I'm sure, and the more that she knows certain things are allowed and certain things aren't. But she's very bright which is good, though all I can currently hear is Luna down <laughs> in the background, which means she's probably trying to jump up um, to see who's on the couch or go somewhere that she shouldn't and see what's on a table or something. But she's getting there, she's getting there. Uh, Jess Diamond Paint, she says, congrats on your adorable new puppy. Uh, sounds like you will be busy for a while getting her trained and settled. She says, don't worry about us. We can always watch old vids when we miss you. She says, love my new purple trays. They arrived on the 31st of March. Um, and she says, she doesn't really mind how I do the limited room. Sorry, I got cut off mid-sentence then. I knew it was getting close to potentially saving the information on the memory card, but I didn't realise it was so close. Um, so Jess says, uh, she says she really doesn't mind how you do the limited releases from now on. She says, whatever makes it easier for you guys. 
as long as she she says as long as I can set an alarm I will be ordering at least one of each colour you release well thank you so much for your support Jess um yeah we're, we're doing a mixture so the launch that just happened this last weekend we did two different colours for each size so we had a add more uh, uh, add more zest size so the bigger size in a pale yellow and then we did we've actually had a, a extra filament roll of pale blue for ages pale blue was a color that we've done before in a large tray so we did that in a zesty tray so you could have a twin if you wanted to but then next month um, what we've already started printing for next month is it's going to be the same color in two sizes so we're going to mix it up a little bit dependent sometimes it will be because we've done a color before in a big size and or in a small size so we do it in the alternative um, and sometimes if it's a color that we've maybe not done before or not done anything similar before um, we might do both sizes in that color and then we may well mix it up sometimes it may be brand new colors in two different sizes and then the opposite sizes will appear at a later date at some point it really does partly depend on on what filaments we can get hold of and we also want to vary the colors a bit as much as we can um, the pink filaments we are still struggling to get that from our supplier they're currently not able to ship from the UK to the UK from their EU warehouse for some reason or other don't quite know web chat doesn't help so much um, and while we're waiting for them to be able to ship from there we are going to release, release another temporary basic colour so there will be a third colour coming back we just we know from previous launches slash requests that we have had for certain colours that it will be popular it will I think it will be a popular colour um, and therefore we need a decent amount printed before we put it on the website because it is going to be a basic colour and therefore it will always or hopefully it will always be available we want a nice stock so that when that first influx of orders come in um, we're able to fulfill them and don't have to go to the point where trays may take two weeks to even be posted we want to avoid that as much as possible so the temporary colour I actually have three printers currently printing that temporary colour I've stocked up all the white and grey basic colours and got a nice decent stock of them um, so that I can free up the printer that normally prints white and grey to print this this temporary colour as much as possible and they're just they're all going at it trying to build up the stock to a nice amount and then we'll release it so it should be released by next launch um, we may or may not release it before launch we might release, release it on the next launch day we're not quite sure it really does depend on how many we can get printed um, because we are dealing with two sizes now not just one size <coughs> So we need to make sure that we have enough of a number in both sizes because it is also the shades, shade of colour. That's probably the easiest way of saying it. But it, it's not a colour we've done before. Um, so therefore it will have the, the popular side in the fact that it's a new colour as well as the fact that we you know we want it to be a basic color so we need to 
print a decent amount of stock so that people aren't waiting weeks for their order to ship out. We did pre-orders when we first designed the tray uh, and it was two, two to three weeks for orders to be going out. They were coming off the printer and going straight into boxes to try and, you know, get with the postie that day and get gone that day. So, yeah, it's, we just want a nice stock. We don't want too much, too much waiting or potential disappointment for anybody. Because um, there's nothing like ordering something and then having to wait weeks for it to ship. We don't want that. Right, where's the letter K? After the letter J. I should know that. So I'm picking my colours by working across what the bottom has got. Now these diamonds, they nestle in okay, but they don't nestle in as tight as some do. Um, so there is a slight little gap on the odd ones, but I don't think it will be noticeable once it's done. But it's definitely not a tight click in. There is definitely some gaps. But it's actually quite confetti-ish at the moment. There's not like a huge block of one colour. It's a nice section to start with. I've got some brighter colours coming up in a bit with some of these yellows slash oranges. Um, Lady Dax, she says, glad to hear Luna is letting you get a bit more sleep. Yes, she still has the odd time where she has woken up um, a bit early. Normally, if she's, dis if she's been too sleepy to go to the bathroom before we go to bed, uh, we occasionally get a little nighttime wake up. But in general, now she's been pretty much sleeping through and if she does wake up and need to go out she has been going back into her crate into her bed and settling back down which is which is an absolute dream because as anybody knows with a lack of sleep things are 10 times worse and that's definitely the case for me. I am not very good if I have had disturbed sleep. I actually run better if I have the likes of, say, five hours solid and that's all I'm getting. Um, I actually run better on that than getting eight hours, but it's broken sleep. So broken sleep, mm. we don't mix and broken sleep um she says her friend cockapoo is three months old now she said and she's very settled so intelligent and learning fast well that's good to know because luna is learning fast and she's definitely a lot more settled um than she has been it's definitely the case she's definitely learning you know, she's learning and we're, of course, learning as well what is the right way to train, the best way to train to get the results. And she's definitely responding really well. Um, Lady Dax says she's doing her Pegasso today for the first time in three days. Listening to your waffle, she says, and dotting away with you. And I know she's finished that since. Um, she says, it's bliss. She says, wishing you all the best with Luna. Um, all the joys of being a new mum again. Yeah, I suppose I can now say I have five kids. And take the hobby out of the equation for a change. Or maybe I just say I have six. <sighs> Depends on the hour of the day. Okay, I think I've got all the Ks. It's definitely got some different colours in this one. It'd be really nice to see how it turns out because it definitely doesn't look like it should have the purple and 
the green on the image. Not on the image, it's on the canvas anyway. So it'll be quite interesting to see how this one transforms itself. But we want the letter P, which is a darker purple. Let's bob a few of those in. And that should pretty much fill up this bottom little section. Now I normally do that bottom row first, but there's like four here. And I like filling gaps as well. So let's fill those gaps and then get the rest of my straight edge. And then I get to do a bit of blocking in. Um, Jessica, she says, I love your videos. She says, your voice is relaxing. And she listens to my kitting up videos when she's about to go to bed after a long night of work she works overnight. I found that I fall asleep at the moment to Susan Erickson's voice who reads the In Death series. It actually took me about three, three weeks to get through the read through of a book because pre-dog I used to be able to listen to maybe a chapter or two before I'd fall asleep. Now I'll be lucky if I get 10 minutes into a chapter and I'm falling asleep. So I actually end up listening to quite a bit of the same chapter for about four nights before I moved on to the next one. When I had a night where I actually managed to, or didn't manage to, sleep for, you know, half an hour to actually get to the point I could move on to the next chapter. Um, so I'm still doing those re-listens at the moment um, to the last two books in the series, which was the ones I hadn't listened to before at all. And I am picking up other bits and I much prefer listening to a book I've listened to before to fall asleep. So it, it's me that helps Jessica to fall asleep and it's Susan Erickson that helps me to fall asleep. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do have a couple of, of your guys' suggestions in my um, wish list to download um, when I get around to doing some diamond painting with headphones in, which with Luna I've not yet done. I've not yet decided to put on an audible book just so I can hear what she's doing. Um, but the, the better she gets and the fact that, you know, there is hobby in the room as well, who can listen out for her, I'm sure I'll be, I'm going to be listening to one of those books when I'm awake and not in bed so that I can actually hear the story because they're new ones to me that I've not listened to before. Uh, Cindy, she says, oh, congratulations on the new edition. Thank you. Uh, she says she got her new one a year ago. Um, she's very stubborn, but very smart. Uh, to stop her from bad chewing, she ended up putting a few pennies in a tin can. Uh, covered it and then taped it very well with duct tape. When she would start to chew, she would shake the can and say no quite loudly. Um, and then she stopped. Once she stopped, she praised her and petted her. And it took a couple of days, she said, and she just stopped. She no longer chews anything but her own toys. So slippers, socks, laundry and furniture are all now safe. Yes, I could do with my slippers being safe. If I ever decide to take my slippers off so I can curl my feet up on the couch, um, if she's awake, she'll have it. She'll have my slipper and decide that that is her new toy. I've even tried spraying those with this puppy spray and it doesn't seem to make any difference. She's too smart. Right, I've got one B 
and I can't see another one on there at all. So this is one of the big tubs. So let's see if I can fish one out. Of the three colours that I have in the large tubs, I actually have only used one of them. I also think I only have one letter D. So while my glue dot is rather sticky, let's get those two fished out of the pot and then I can go to Q, which is an orangey peachy colour. Um, Cindy also said, she said, good luck, love her tons and keep smiling. Stay safe and blessed. Thank you. There's definitely been a few times I have not been smiling. Um, I don't think my hormones and my tiredness levels were in the best place the first week or so she was here. But yeah, things have definitely got better. I think now that she listens, primarily listens to um, some of the basic commands and I can see progress. I think that's the main thing that definitely helps matters but I do have my little escapes with my whip and chats and my filming which I'm trying to get oh look I've missed the letter F um, which I'm trying to get in quite a bit this weekend just as well to sort of I have loads of diamond paintings to de-kit and I thought, oh, I can get ahead and get myself ahead with my filming so that it, you know, it, it gives me the chance to, you know, have a week or so where I only need to film one or two videos. Bit of a lighter weekend, especially now it's getting nicer. You know, even if it's just a day pottering around the house and doing a bit of spring cleaning. And so far... All the videos I've filmed for this week, or I've, I've been filming them in order, or trying to film them in order for this week. So far, I think I've ended up with a couple of hour-long ones. So it's not quite working, because my kitting up of this painting took quite a while. And now I've got a whip and chat, which is a bigger section than I would normally do. Um, because it's it's a cover sheet and a half so that's taking a little bit longer I'm just going to get this F that I missed because it's kind of annoying when I miss one so I'm going to grab one of the little static ones off the side and give him a home where he has to stay still H see that doesn't look anything like the colour on there it does on here, it doesn't really on the stickers. The stickers have got a bit of a green tinge. It's going to be really interesting how this turns out. Okay, let's do my straight edge. This actually gives me the last part of my straight edge, or straightish edge. It's not bad, I think there's only one there that's a little bit... Need to try and twist it a little bit it's like it sticks on the glue and then I get the rest of this H filled in and work my way up the last few. Um, Doreen says congrats on your new family member. Thank you. Uh, she says lots of work but so worth it. Um, they're a lot like kids said just be fun just be firm sorry firm consistent and loving and she'll soon understand what you want from her she says enjoy puppy time thank you i actually think kids are easier but maybe that's because i've already had four so therefore i know a lot more what i'm doing with kids uh, we used to have a dog I think I think it was till I was about three apart from that we've not had a dog when I was growing up and we've not had one 
when our kids were growing up. So what to do? Thank goodness for Google is all I can say because Google and YouTube little clips on you know the training or even the best training to start with and you know what's your sort of time period not to worry you know they do say the first couple of weeks yes start the training but don't panic because you're still getting to know each other and settling in so it's like oh, okay so if it's not if it's not twigging yet you know still keep doing it but don't expect it to be remembered every every time uh, but she's definitely the more settled she's got the, the loads better she's got she also does know when's food time but she's out of sync by about three quarters of an hour so if you dare to go in the kitchen three quarters of an hour before dinner time um she gets she thinks that's what you're going for and if you pick up her bowl at around that time, she goes ballistic. She's not barking or anything, just jumping with pure excitement because she knows food is a coming. Um, and it's quite funny to watch her basically leaping in the air because she knows. And then when you stand still, she sits down because she knows she needs to sit for her dinner. But then she gets excited again when you go in the kitchen. And it's a cross between being excited and doing what she needs to do to get her dinner because she knows she needs to sit down. So it's funny. Um, Janice says, hi, Rebecca. She says, congratulations on your addition to your family. She says, I hope Luna give you, gives you all love and joy. Um, she's unfortunate she can't have a dog due to working long hours uh, and it would be unfair for a dog uh, love your video she says she's also a single placer and she'd rather do squares well I'm on a squares painting I have done um, my paint gem mini paintings are squares um, which are ideal if you want to try squares the mini ones is something that you know you haven't got you've got something after you've put the work in um, because it is harder with squares when you first do them uh, but yeah I feel like I've not done a big square painting for quite a while especially considering most of my big paintings are already squares and yet the last time it picked out Mother Earth, which was around. Just so you know, throw a spanner in the works. Why not? Okay, will you get off the pen? I think I put one in there that I thought it had some little flat bits. Either side of the diamond, you know, like it had come off the mould and I thought they were wafer thin. And other diamonds would sit on top of it perfectly. Obviously, they didn't. So we'll get rid of the one that is not as it should be. And I've also got a glue dot that's playing up. Uh, Somme Grief says, and here I was thinking that it's only the South African post office that is horrific. Oh, South African post office is horrific, uh, but it's not the only one. <laughs> she says, ours get lost completely, not just stuck at customs. She says, patiently waiting for one of her UK friends to come back. Sorry. Uh, she says, patiently waiting for one of my UK friends to come back to South Africa so that she can get a zesty tray. Yeah, that's probably the safest way. Um I do find South Africans are extremely patient because they do know what their post is like. Um, but yes, we have had one that, even after being extremely patient, has not turned up. We even tried to get it tracked or potentially send a replacement via courier. I have never seen such a high courier price for an item 
that doesn't weigh too much. It was about triple the price of the order. It was absolutely ridiculous customs prices. Um, sorry, cu courier prices. Sending something heavier to the States or to even to Australia or New Zealand from the UK cost well less than it did to send to South Africa. I have sent something via Korea once before to South Africa um, at the request of the customer. They put in a substantial order to make it worth it, but it seems as though they have this price for just even delivering to South Africa. Um, and then the parcel can be a lot heavier and it won't cost you much more. Uh, but that initial, I'm actually going to take it for you price is redonkulous. Absolutely redonkulous. But hopefully this, this next one will get there or indeed the first one will turn up. But I can't believe in this day and age they can get away with it being such a joke um, on their delivery times slash you know just not caring for the fact that it's it's things people have paid for and delivery has been paid for so just deliver it for goodness sake okay that is that symbol done uh, but yeah i would definitely go with your friend bringing it to you if possible that is more than likely going to be the safest way I've got a piece of trash that is not a diamond and it's bigger than a diamond. There we go. That would not get out of my tray. Testing me it was. Okay, L. Let's, oh, I have two pieces of dry sheet in this one. But when they're coming out, they're not tending to give me static issues in the tray any that are still staticky are staying in the pot until they calm themselves down they're not allowed on this painting um tina she says oh enjoy your poppy she said mine is nearly five months old and training lovely uh, but sure is like having another child I have Arthur, she says he's a, a Labrador and he's adorable. Oh. So there are elements that I do really enjoy uh, with the pup and there are also elements that I don't. Free movement around the house, I think, seems to be the one that I'm missing the most at the moment, you know, sneaking out of the gate. I mean, so much sneaking out as in if she doesn't see you, um, then she won't try and escape so that she can have a rummage around the kitchen and see what she can find or potentially go anywhere else downstairs and get into stuff she shouldn't. I think it's sort of that free movement. Even when she's asleep, I think if you go to move, you go to open the gate, it's like her eyes open. What are you doing? What are you doing? Where are you going? Once she's, she gets to the point that she's that tired that she sleeps through noise, it's great because you can just, you know, you can move about the house and and that's fine. Um, but yeah, she's, she's getting better. That's the next bit we're sort of starting is the whole not trying to escape from the gate every time somebody leaves the room. Um, Especially, you know, if I want to nip the loo or anything like that and there's only me there. And just making sure that we reward her when she's been good. Um, she let me answer the door to the postman. The postman who knocked on the door and therefore wasn't loud, she allowed me to answer the door, um, get that parcel and come back and was extremely well behaved. The parcel that came and Royal Mail rang the bell which is what we prefer in general in the fact that we can hear it in the conservatory 
and therefore we can go get it. For that one, um, she was very sort of whingy and bouncy and stuff because she thinks, she knows that's the door and she therefore thinks that she has a visitor. She's not quite established yet that every time the door goes, it doesn't always mean a person is coming in the house and it doesn't always mean that somebody is coming to visit her. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, Jennifer says, congrats on the puppy. She says her puppy has just turned eight years old. She's had her since she was about nine weeks old. Um, and was lucky enough not to have her go through a chewy my stuff phase. Um, she says she keeps hoping that she'll lose some of her puppy energy, given that she's getting older and is entering her senior years. But apparently corgis don't do that. Oh, corgis stay giddy. Ooh, I haven't even checked if cockapoos do that or not. Maybe that's something I should have checked, the sort of phases of their life and how long we need to deal with puppy years and indeed teenage years until things settle down. Um, she says she finally made, she's also, she says she's finally made the switch to glue dots. She had tried them previously but didn't care for them. Um, but she thinks it was because she was using the larger size and cutting them down and it just wasn't working for her. Um, she picked up some of the micro dots she said at Michael's at the end of February and she's almost mad that she waited this long to try them again. Uh, she hasn't had to change out the original one that she put in in her pen yet and it's still very sticky. The only downside now she says is that she uses regular wax in her pens for her work desk projects uh, and it's just not working for her anymore. She says she's been spoiled. We'll change the others to glue dots as well, why not? I think all of mine have, I think I only have a couple that are still wax actually. Um, and that is because the pen tip is built into the pen rather than one that you can change. And it's already had wax in. And sometimes when it's already had wax in the pen, it can be harder because, you know, some of the wax residue is still there to switch it to glue dots. So I've just decided that those pens will stay as wax. Because wax isn't awful. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not dreadful. It's just the fact that you have to dip your pen into it again and then sometimes you can end up with remnants of wax on your actual canvas. But it's not really a big deal. You know, we've worked with it for months with no problem. Okay, that is L done. Let's get some G. A little bit of yellow going on, an orange. Uh, crazy Cat Lady says, oh, congratulations. Uh, this is on the puppy. She says, I'm sure she will give you loads of fun. She's definitely given us entertainment, that's for sure. Sometimes it's with a smile on our face, sometimes it's a scowl. <laughs> really depends on what it is that she's doing. Uh, but she definitely has some crazy funny moments as well. Um, oh, she also said puppy videos. I'll have to see if I can... Um, if I can catch any video worthy clips of some of the little things that she does. I'll probably have to chase around with a camera all day for a few days uh, but I'll see if I can catch some of her little quirks at some point that I can slip into videos for you guys to see. 
Working my stopper out of my tray. It actually goes in two different ways. One of them is looser than the other. Okay, N. Seven, sorry, I just had to change my battery then. Mid go. So let's zoom you guys back in. I should still be in an all right place. This is just the background at the moment or a feather. So this is a feather um, rather than the actual parrot. But let's get some ends in. Uh, Dana Marie says, congratulations on the new addition to the family. She said, we would have put our puppies in a playpen. She said, safe proof it first. She says, when camping or even when in the house. Uh, we put toys in it and they love it, she said. Yeah, we do have a playpen for Luna. Um, she is happy going in and out of it. It's sort of somewhere I can throw all her toys. Um, she does also go in it for time out when she needs to calm down a minute. Sometimes with her bed, sometimes not. Depends on, on how much she's pushing the boundaries, should I say. Uh, but then we've also got like a couple of puzzle toys for her as well that we pop bits of kibble and stuff in and I do also give her those in her pen albeit most of the time with the door open sometimes not um, so that the, the play pen is not a totally negative space uh, but she does know that she gets the door shut and ignored when she's done what she shouldn't have done uh, she says, in, in the USA, she says there is a product called um, Bitter Apple to help them stop biting. She said, our first puppy needed a name and we didn't have anything for a puppy. She says, so we got a collar that had what looked like a diamond and that's how she got her name. Um, her first male puppy, she said, didn't like being crated. Uh, she said she's never created her dogs before. Uh, she said, so I would sleep on the floor until she knew she could trust him. Uh, it only took two nights, she said. Um, and they also loved to shred paper, but never destroyed the toys. <laughs> yeah, Luna didn't like her crate for the first couple of nights, but that could have also just not liked you know, the fact that she was away from her mum and her siblings, that could have just been the first couple of nights disturbed. Like, she wasn't freaking out. Um, she just was doing a little bit of whining and then she'd sleep. And Whereas now, she'll just go, she knows that bedtime is, she is in a crate. She's in our room, um, but she knows it's bedtime. And she'll hop in because she knows she'll also get a piece of kibble when she gets in there. So I think I think this dog is just governed by food. It's If food is involved, then she'll do whatever you want. I'm sure she'd do a little dance if, if food was involved. She'd knit you a jumper if it involved food. And she responds really well if there is food involved at the end of it so quite often when we first start getting her to do something it is a good girl and, and here's a you know a small piece of your food type well done and then we we phase it out a little bit so sometimes she will get food and sometimes she won't um, but she'll still get the good girl and that means then we can get to the point where she doesn't have to have or doesn't expect a piece of food every time she sits down or every time she she stays and waits for a tea and stuff like that so um but yeah she's really good with the crate at night we do potentially need to start looking at her going in her crate for periods of time in the day um just because that may well be the safest at least it would feel the safest place for her if and when 
we need to leave the house for a short period of time but we sort of also don't want to turn her off it at night so it will probably be something that we will bring in um, soon but not quite yet not leaving it too late but not doing it too quickly either because she's just got really good with her crate and especially the fact that she will get straight in has only been the last few days so we don't want to go backwards in any way on that one we've also got the pen though so we could potentially start teaching her to go into the pen giving her a treat and then leaving for short periods of time and maybe do the pen instead as long as she doesn't get too good at jumping because um, she can she can be quite jumpy uh, handcrafted by Helen she says how exciting with a new puppy uh, she says Luna sounds like she is learning quickly which is great yes she is she's doing really well um, SW she says I cannot wait to hear all of the puppy stories yes I feel like this has been another Luna video today but that's because I'm reading comments from the first Luna video so that's to be expected uh, she said you could always try a Kong with peanut butter or a treat inside to see if that will help distract her during zoom zoom time yeah we haven't picked up any we have got a kong we haven't got any of the peanut butter stuff at the moment she's just had that to chew on uh we do need to look at getting some form of paste or something i think because even her doggy puzzle that she has that has little little things that she has to move move about to get to it she's got so good at that already um the, she ha also has a, a bone shape with two holes in either end and you put a few bits in either end she's getting that one slowly but surely she is realizing that she has to lift it up from the opposite end to get it out uh, a lot of it is happy accidents at the moment um but she, she actually had quite a bit at the beginning where I just put two or three pieces in each end of, of the bone. And at the beginning, she would actually end up leaving it with, with two or three pieces of kibble in it because she just couldn't get it out. Whereas now she has got to the point she'll keep going a bit more until it does actually all come out. Um, I'm just not sure if she knows how she's doing it yet. Not quite sure if it if it matches but this puzzle as well you can put paste in some of it so that's the next thing that I think I want to do so it'll keep her entertained for longer because she'll have to actually lick the paste out especially when it comes to like meal times and stuff and making sure that she's not trying to eat our food she's getting better she realizes that she's not allowed it but she still will every now and then try her best um to get some of our food but yeah it's funny when you open the conservatory door when she's on zoom zoom time because she does the whole run out and leaps off the step and runs back she does it with toys she absolutely loves it so we do let her do it for a little bit for maybe like five minutes or so um, and then we try and get her to do something that's a bit calmer so that she doesn't get too over excited but that she has burned some energy off um, and then occasionally she'll do a little bit of it again but it's normally a lot more subdued which is good and that's normally her crazy time which is anything between half four and six o'clock it seems to vary each day I don't think she has a 24 hour clock I think that's the problem I think she has like a 23 hour clock um, only Merlin she says diamond painting should be equally enjoyable for you 
she says, do your heaven and earth design, she said, when the time is right for you and don't get stressed about goals or deadlines with your hobby. Oh, thank you. That is what I've tried to keep telling myself. Would I have set that goal if I'd have known that we were having a kitchen refit in the dog um, in quick succession? And the answer is probably no. So therefore, last month is what last month is. And I'm doing a bit of a refocus and focusing a little bit more on one of my heaven and earth designs than the other. Um, which means I still get to do some and I still get to enjoy the process of doing some. But in turn, it's one that I'm likely to be able to potentially finish quicker which will in turn lighten the load because then I will only have one. Um, uh, only Merlin also says, she says, love your videos and I can't wait to see the next one, whichever one it will be. And that's Erin from Arizona. Thank you so much, Erin. Well, this next one, though there has been a few in between and that comments, is the first part of Flying feathers so this is the bottom section of a 50 by 50 we haven't yet hit the parrot but we do have what looks like a feather I can have a quick nosy we are getting a little bit more basic colors coming this way we're definitely getting some of the 3865 and stuff coming in as well so I reckon it will get a little bit more blocky, but it's not solid blocks. So it's actually got it's actually got a scattering. So it's a bit confetti-ish, but you can tip a lot of diamonds in your tray, which I kind of like. Um, but yeah, section one complete. Join me later on. I'm trying to think of my video planning. I think later on this week I'm going to try and get a second section of this done. Um, before my heaven and earth design next Sunday and then I'm also going to try and fit in of course a mixture of unboxings and de-kittings and stuff as well I've not fully planned out how the week's going yet I'm sort of just doing different videos partly dependent on my mood um, and partly trying to mix it up but it's been a while since I've done a square diamond painting on a whip and chat. So thank you all for your lovely comments about Luna. Uh, there are still more comments from that video, so I'm sure there will be even more potential dog talk on the next one. Um, I am sorry if you're not necessarily a dog person. I'll try and keep the chatter varied so that there is a bit of something for everybody but thank you for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon